Dan Lazarski, KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? Where can we go out, Daddy? Shh. Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well. They're just misguided. Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern, though. You sound very calm. You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Clean of... oh. You're immaculates. Children of the immaculate birth, yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I hope. Well, I've never been called to a crime scene where one of your kind was involved. That's good enough for me. Our kind? I see. Do you take offense to our way of life, Officer Lazarski? No, but it must be hard on the whole family. No one said life would be easy. Well, I'd have to say, no mods of any kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say there are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable, but it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a big fan of implants, but I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe we are what we make ourselves. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but our church has a support group for the penitent unclean. Perhaps you'd like to attend a meeting? Sounds like a hoot and a half. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, well, once you get past the name, you'll find a lot of compassion and understanding there. All right, if you say so, Mr. Karski. Godspeed, Officer Lazarski.
Miss Nader? I'm with the KPD. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Mrs. Excuse me? Mrs. Nader. All right. Uh, Mrs. Nader. What do you want? Ma'am, is everything all right in there? Are you in some kind of danger? You tell me, officer. I heard the alarms go off. Are the cleaners on their way? Are any of us safe? The lockdown seems to be a malfunction. I don't think we're looking at an outbreak here. Well, I'm sure the other tenants will be glad to hear that. But not you? No, officer. Not me. Have you made any calls in the last hour? No, I have not. Could you check your compass for connections? Somebody may have used it as a proxy. I don't have a compass. No compass? I thought pretty much everyone had one at this point. Well, you thought wrong. I don't have any implants of any kind. If you don't mind my asking, do you live alone? Yes, I do mind, and yes, I live alone. No spouse or daughter? Didn't you hear me? I said it was just me. Then why did you insist on being called Mrs.? I'm a widow. My wife died many years ago, in the plague. Sorry to hear that. Is that why you don't have any implants? Yes. Want to see the scar tissue on my face and neck? It's quite an embroidery. The little monsters really outdid themselves. Or do I have to show you what's left of my arm? Would that satisfy your curiosity? Mrs. Nader, I'm just doing my job. Oh, yes, I've heard that one before. When the cleaners took my Laura away. One of them turned to me and said precisely that. I never saw her again. Not even the body. It's like she never existed. I'm not like that. No? Oh, so you don't work for the corporation? The very same people who took everything I ever had? Just because they pay me doesn't mean they owe me. Well, isn't that a pretty thought? You best get on with your duties, officer. I'm sure you have your hands full. So long, Mrs. Nader. Helena Novak it is. this awful noise. What's going on? There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? No. Oh, God, please, not today. Well, what's so special about today? I was scheduled to undergo a, a medical procedure. It's a private matter. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it. So do yourself. Are you okay? Sounds like you're in pain. Oh, it's fine. I'm just... I got a, a condition. I'm, I'm waiting to have it fixed. Anything I can do? <laughs> sure, if you're an expert in corrective surgery. Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything in over 40 years. Ah. That's your condition. I, I... I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait. I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate. 
heavy breathing, angry, not hiding, hunting. Hmm. Anything else? This smell. It seemed uh, oddly familiar. Reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? Yes. My family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. Hmm. I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, a couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off, and then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop. But, judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. What about the girl? Oh, she she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important, or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping in shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect. I guess. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealing? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I doubt he's the goddamn postman. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just... messed up. And again, ain't we all? Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh... I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. <laughs> That's new. Anyone here? responsible for this if you help me find him. Don't try to talk. There's another way.
Subject approved. Commencing neural interrogation. <laughs> Nie dotyczy zwłaszcza środka odrzekowego. Represyjnie działano chłodowy układ nerwowy. Było uwagę samość. Jest to nadal bez uwagi. Amir, is that you? Usłyszenia rośliny następuje częściowa recenizacja hios czy jaminy. Suszony surowiec zawiera zmienne ilości antropiny. Halucynogenne idują na równie surowca obecności alkoholu. What the fuck, man? I told you not to show up during the day.
fucking slop again. Called soup. I dig in, it's not getting any better. Yes! Finally! It's hard to forget. I've always wondered, were you scared? Of me, I mean. Yeah, I could 
could see right through you. I saw that underneath all your muscles and tattoos, you were like a big wounded animal. Lost. Alone. Hey, at least you knew what you were getting into. Yeah, I, I guess, guess I, I did. did. sickness and in health forsaking all others to have and to hold from this day forward until death do us part any regrets none aborted. Subject expired during questioning. Emergency extraction procedure successful. Yes. Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. <laughs> 